this is me giving you permission to laugh at me. You can laugh at me. My mouth will not open. Okay, I'm going to show you. This is me trying. I'm not lying. I'm not making this up. That's it. That's all it'll do. And it feels... Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, it won't open. It's like once I get to a certain, like, whatever, it, like, feels like pressure. It locks. It will not open. It's, like, just wide enough for, like, a cookie, which I can't have because it's sugar. And sugar's what got me here in the fucking first place. Or pizza. Or pizza. So my husband went and he got me a small pizza. And I literally, <laughs> I sat here and I ate it. Like inserting it into my mouth like a goddamn coin slot. And the whole time I was trying so hard to not laugh. It's so hard to chew because I can't open my mouth all the way. And I thought this is how I'm going to go. This will be what takes my ass out. I can't stop laughing at myself long enough to fucking chew my food. Because it is funny. It's funny. Anyways, um, Epps went this morning and got a tire for the van so we got the van uh tire replaced and i picked up some extra hours this weekend to cushion the financial blow of that shit cleaning us out so everything's good everything's good um we got the tire replaced so the van is semi-safe to drive that van will never be safe to drive but it's at least the tire won't be the issue we're not going to think about the other 30,000 fucking issues. Anyways, I picked up about 10 hours working this weekend and I'll be working the bar. So I'll be making good tips. So we'll be all right. We'll be all right. But you can laugh at me. You get, My face is so lopsided. You can, I can barely talk. I feel like I, I don't know. I need to take some ibuprofen. I want to talk about something too since I'm not making TikToks anymore. I want to talk about something that I saw on TikTok. There is this trend happening right now where women are talking about like, it's like, oh, I thought I would look so cute while I was pregnant. And then they show like pictures of what they look like pregnant. And they all had the pregnancy nose. The, it's like when you get pregnant, sometimes your nose can swell up really big. And, you know, people in the comments are ruthless about it. It goes away. It goes down. Like, it's not that big of a deal. It's just extra blood flow. It's fine. Anyways, it's making me think of one day I was at work with my sister. Now, mind you, my oldest son is 11 and a half. He has been walking this earth for over a decade. She looks at me and she says, <laughs> she looks at me and she says, I mean, out of blue, unfucking provoked You know, when you first came up to visit us after you had the baby, because you know, I lived like 1400 miles away. Your nose was so big. Honestly, it looks like you had plastic surgery. Thank God it went back down. You held that shit in for over a decade? Why say it at all? Honestly, she probably had to get it off her chest. She probably feels better now. I'm just feeling talkative right now, even though it hurts to talk. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a comprehensive list of drugstore makeup that I have bought recently that failed me miserably. Like I should have just taken my money and lit it on fire. You know what I mean? So the first thing was this Revlon semi-permanent brow ink. When I tell you that I watched the... 12 there had to had been uh youtube videos on how to use this shit and still lost a chunk of my eyebrow to it and it didn't survive me washing my face it's supposed to last up to three days my ass you know i can't remember how much i paid for it or i think i would be mad er this elf eyeliner that i so desperately wanted to love it is hard as fuck to get it open why is it so needlessly fucking hard to get it open and also, I'm not really sure what they're trying. By the way, that was not on there all the way. Somebody's going to look at that and be like, Ooh, you said it was hard to open. And then you pulled it right off. Look, if you don't push, push it back on. My big gripe, other than the fact that it's hard to get open and I'm uh, I'm greasy. I'm slimy. I, I can't do this shit. I don't have the mental capacity for lids that don't want to come off. You should see the fingerprints I leave on my phone. No matter how much I wash my hands. Is that normal? I don't fucking know. Anyways, the thing that I hate the most about it, other than the lid, is I'm not really sure what they're trying to do with this. It's soft, but it's hard, but it's started really hard, but then the tip of it turned really soft, which means it's going to pill. But also, the formula sucks. The formula sucks. It's like, it's like... 
when I when I got it home and I swatched it on my hand, I was like, oh, bitch. No, it sucks. It's like... Did you see that fucking light pop up? It's like a matte black. It's like almost like gray. You can see through it. You can see through it. Transparent is the word I'm looking for. But I so desperately wanted this to work. I wanted to fall in love with it for $3. Please, God, just give me some way to save a couple fucking dollars. No, it sucks. Moving on. So Ayani, who makes my favorite eyelashes at the Dollar Tree, put out an entire line of makeup. And I really, really love their mascara, but you know what? Mascara takes black shit and it puts it on your eyelashes. It's not that hard. You know, it's not that hard. I mean, I was a teenager in the 2000s. My, my, my expectations for mascara are in hell. I'm part of the great lash generation. Expectations, they're, they're lower than hell. We're, we're grab, we're grabbing a, a shovel and, and we're digging deeper. So when they released the whole makeup line, I was so damn excited. I went and I bought a lot of it. It all sucks. It all sucks. It all sucks. Other than the mascara and the eyelashes. I love the mascara, the eyelashes, and uh, the eyeliner. Everything else fucking sucks. And they released absolutely nothing but colors like this, which are super chuggy. And you know me, I love chuggy things. I love chuggy things, but this is chuggy in a bad way. I thought I could put on a little liner and like salvage it. I was fucking wrong. Not everything can be salvaged with black lip liner, apparently. I learned that and it cost me $1.25. You're welcome. I just saved you $1.25. Now this, I, I won't necessarily say that I hate these, but I will say that I am severely disappointed in them. And you know how I am. I'm a sucker for advertisements. If I see it online, yada yada, I want it. I gotta have it. Bitch, it's mine. Anyways, um, what suckered me into getting this is that the, 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 the kiosk thingy, the little advertisement poster thingy, it had Meg the Stallion on it. And I don't know if you know this about me, but I have a framed picture of Meg the Stallion in my house. We simp for Meg the Stallion in this house. So I was like, fuck you, what's up? It sucks. And it's not that like the formula sucks or anything like that. It doesn't look anything like this. It doesn't. And it might just be my skin tone or whatever that I don't. But I bought it because when I go to work, I usually wear like nudes or neutrals. So I got this on my way to work. And I was like, well, what a waste. What a waste of my life. I... I thought it was more brown. It's more pink. I don't know. Maybe it's my eyes. Maybe it's my skin tone. Um, I'm just going to give it to my sister because I can't wear it. You betrayed me, Meg, but I forgive you because I love you. I actually really loved her Revlon palette and I bought it and I lost it. Now, how the fuck do you lose an eyeshadow palette? I don't know, but I did. So there you go. I'm currently really manic and I've been swinging wildly between being like really fucking hyper and feeling like I need to lay down. Like all the energy is drained from my body and I just need to go to sleep, you know? But then it's like the second that I lay down, I have to get back up. I have to move. My body's like, no, and my brain is like, yes. So I wrote a list of things that I want to do today on the back of this Domino's receipt. Don't look at it. The first thing that I want to do today is go for a walk, but it's going to be dark in like a half hour. And I figure by the time that I sit on my bed and have a crisis for 20 minutes and then get my shoes on, it'll be too late. Uh, the second thing that I want to do is pick up my medicine because I looked, I, I, I went through what happened yesterday with my tire exploding and having to walk home in the rain with my son's medicine, like a fucking, I don't know, I don't know, like a pioneer or something. Like my wagon wheel fell off and now I have to get my my medicine home to my family. I don't know, what, what the hell is that movie? The, the, the movie with the girl that, that she's blind and she has to run through the woods and they like started rumors that there were like creatures in the woods. What the fuck is the name of that movie? Oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google it. Uh, M. Night Shyamalan movies. The Village. Yeah, 
that was me. I, I don't I don't know if I said it too. I, I definitely looked at the at the pharmacist yesterday before I left and was like, yeah, I'll be back to get it tomorrow. And then watch me not go back and get it today because I'm an ass. I also want to watch Twilight and give you my thoughts on it. I want to try the passport makeup tutorial. I'm never going to leave. I'm never going to have a fucking passport. Get a grip. But I want to try it. I want to come up with a comprehensive workout routine. I want to get jacked. I want to be ripped. I want to have a 12 pack. I want to make Hercules look like a fucking bitch. You know what I mean? Just right now though, 15 minutes from now, ask me again. I want to bake cookies. It's not quite a walk, but at least I'm outside. I'm going to show you guys my knee scabs from where I fell down like a couple of weeks ago. So uh, I'll do a countdown. It's not like bloody or gross or anything like that. Countdown, three, two, one. They look bad, but they feel a lot better. Also, these are new rocks for anybody that's uh, wondering. So there's an internet outage where I live. Uh, the internet's been off for hours. And at this point, I don't have hope that it's going to come back on by the time that I normally upload. And I normally am filming sometimes until as late as 8.30 at night. And it's about 6 right now. It's 5.45. So this is going to be way shorter than my other vlogs, but I think I'm going to go ahead and stop for the day so that I can make sure that this gets uploaded before it gets too late. In order for me to like monetize my content and stuff um, from the studio app on my phone, it's possible, but it's way more of a pain in the ass than it is when I can just get on my computer. So, I mean, if I film anything, because I think I like me, I might, I'm really good at talking. If I film anything, like I think I might make some cookies and stuff, um, I'll post it tomorrow. But like, I can't even watch Twilight or play video games or do anything. I love life. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Please send me turn Shay's internet vibes back on vibes before tomorrow. Bye.